Hello, and welcome back to... Oh my god, we're getting right into this. Welcome back to Those Aren't Biscuits. I'm Jonathan Kadot, one half of the streaming team known as Those Aren't Biscuits. And we are playing our mellow right now. We are halfway through this game. And uh, we're in a pretty good uh, position. If... Uh, oh no! The game you rot, you bastard. Rock kind of sucks, cause like, yeah, it's it's just not a good time, not a good time. What? Oh, Ooh, something happened with the perspective there, huh? I wonder why that happened. Either or, rot's not a good time. Kids, don't do rot. All right, take from me. Messes with your teeth. Messes with everything. All right, but either way, if you if you uh, if you want to know how this whole crazy thing started, check out last episode. You'll see where I'm at. Basically, I'm on the path to. Uh, how do I change? Huh? I'm trying to figure out how to change the perspective here. Cause ooh, ooh teleport to the furthest dungeon. Okay. So, okay, hold on. I gotta figure this out. Nope. Is it click? Maybe? No. Nope. Maybe? I don't. Click it? No. Nope. How about? Nope. Nope. How about? How about? This? Nope. Okay. Alright, okay. well. Nope, not that. Hmm. Nope, not that. Oh, I'm running out of buttons here. Okay. We're gonna go right here and do my quest. Ooh, I only have a 20% chance of getting my Conjurer. I will get the Prestige and that. You know what? I'm going to go for it because, like I said, I'm not really going for the Prestige victory. So I don't really need it. Yeah, but... You, you know what? I'm just going just gonna to take the rewards. There we go. And. Oh, nope. Not going to do that. And I'm going to move over here. Take a town. And call it my turn. Oh, wow. You're a real, real jerk here, man. So my dice are just gonna explode. That's cool. Yep, yeah. mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, this is gonna go real well for me. Yay. Yep, he's gonna kill me. He's just gonna flat out kill me. Fuck you, Barnaby. He is stacked. Wow. Not cool, man. Not cool. Well, I get to choose my new quest, though. Okay, well, I already have all the spear stones I need. Huh. Witch challenge, spear challenge. Let's let's do this. Oh, he's going for Oh wow, he did it. He he's going to try to kill the king. Right off the bat. This might be an incredibly short episode, everyone. <laughs> uh, let's see how you're doing. No, oh, you fucked up. Oh, wow, she's just... Settling towns, huh? Real, uh... Real settler there. Sorry, kind of failed there. I was gonna have something clever to say. Nah. 
Not this time. Oh well. Can't be on fire all the time. Another spirit stone. So here's where things might get real interesting here. So I can get pretty close. I kind of have to make a run for it. Um, for the king too. Um, yeah, let's let's go. Oh great. Can I burn anything? I need. Nope. Hope for the best. I got three dice to do it. And I didn't. I failed. Ah, I got one. No. Nope. Stealing two of my cards. There you go. Thanks a lot, champ. There we go. Barnaby here, on the other hand, he can go after the king too, because he's pretty well stacked. Oh, he's gonna get in my flipping way, isn't he? Oh, he's going after the king. This could be it, folks. What the hell? You are not prepared, Mercurio. <laughs> well, maybe. This is foolish. Hero. Oh wow, he could do it. The king needs a lot of defense right now, and he's not getting it. Oh man, the king's gonna take some fucking hits here. Oh! He does it! Oh! Oh no, Barnaby's the the prestige leader. Barnaby just won the fucking game. That goddamn rabbit. That damn rabbit. This, that's why the prestige victory is the easiest to do. Man. Well, I was hoping this would last a whole lot longer. Not gonna lie, I really, really thought that this was gonna take longer. And, wow, hmm. Well, we got a little bit of time here. I can stretch this out. Uh, like, like I've been saying with these other episodes, if you have not checked out Armello, I, I seriously suggest you do. Especially if you're a fan of board games and the like. Uh, in my experience, there hasn't been a whole ton of games, board type games designed as video games that have been really good. Um, there's been a lot of good ad you know, adaptations or versions. Uh, I, I used to play the hell out of Talisman. Uh, which is another board game, but it's, it's an actual board game. But they made a really good uh, video game version of it uh, on Steam. And I think there's actually one on the uh, PlayStation Store as well. And I really like that. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to think of other... Other um for being such a kind of a simple game, uh, Ticket to Ride. Ticket to Ride is a great board game. It's all about trains and stuff, you know. And they have a really good uh, video game version of that one as well. I think there's actually like a mobile app for it. Um, yeah, there's th there are good board games on video game platforms. I just don't think there's enough board games that are designed for video games like I for as far as I know this doesn't have a physical version it's strictly a video game and I wish more people would do that cuz I mean let's be real like the way the way society is these days or not society I should say but a lot of our relationships that we have with people 
friends, family, otherwise, uh, aren't necessarily based on physical proximity anymore. It's we use the internet and video games and things like that to connect. Uh, like I said, I do a uh, I do a live stream every every week uh, with my buddy Owen Adams. His information is down below. You should go check him out. And he lives in England. And if it wasn't for the internet and our ability to play video games like that, we would never be doing it. And like I remember, you know, growing up being a huge fan of board games because, like, you get your buddies together, you get your family together, whatever, and you play. And but you always ended up playing fucking Monopoly, and that just led to you hating each other for a solid week. You know, and even after that week could pass up, you'd be like, okay, uh, let's hang out again. And back in your mind, you're like, I remember what the fuck you did on Boardwalk, you know? I know what you did. And, but anyway, like, board games are a really great way to connect with, with people because, I mean, board games have become a very complex thing. Uh, a lot of the games that come out these days have, like, really complex mechanics and take a lot of focus and they but what they do is that they bring people together in a common goal either to win themselves against each other or win as a group you know as in cooperative type of game but y'all everyone has like a goal to win and you're not really distracted by you know, flashing lights and gunfire and grenades or uh, stupid announcers that say the same thing every six plays if you're playing like Madden or NBA 2K16 or 17, 18, whatever they're at now. And, but like a board game, because of its design, allows you to focus on the game, but also focus on who you're playing with. And I think it, board games do that in a way that other games just don't. And, I, and I'll actually include, I'll include, uh, like, uh, card games. Uh, like poker, blackjack, uh, goldfish, war, whatever. Uh, but also Pokemon and Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, the TGS stuff. Um, or is TGS, TGS? See, fuck it. I don't know. There's that one card game where like every property around has a set of cards, and they can all intermingle with it. Like Penny Arcade has uh, a set of cards, you know, where you can play as Tycho or Gabe uh, or Divex, and you fight against like Ryu and shit like that. It, it's crazy. Um, but all those games are based on this idea of like having to be with a person not just playing next to them or playing in the same multiplayer match you you are playing with them in some cases you are next to them and what i guess what i'm getting at is that board games card games everything like that create a connection between the players that i think other games lack and honestly i'm not gonna lie i'm rambling right now i'm trying to make up some time because this ended way faster than I thought it would. Uh, but you know what? A short episode is a short episode. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I've been Jonathan Kadat. If you haven't got a chance to, please check out one of the live streams that we do every week. Monday, 3.30 Central Time. Or in the case of my buddy Owen, 9.30 p.m. British Standard Time. And uh, it's a great time. We talk about pop culture subjects from movies to video games to comic books to regular books to music uh, and television and everything hey every, every once in a while we even dip into politics and uh, social matters and at the time and we, we do this and we play a game while we do it and we we talk with our chat we we take questions we take comments suggestions uh, it's a real interactive experience and we would like you guys to be there. Uh, so yeah, and the, the easiest way to make sure you catch one of those is to subscribe to this channel, click the notifications, bell, 
you know how this drill goes. I ain't the first YouTuber you've heard say something like this. It It's pretty much par for the course at this point. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. And, uh, yeah. Until next time, have a good one.